Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I've got another cassette analysis for Vigor's Season 11 Perseverance storyline. So without further delay, let's jump straight into this video. So to start, the name of the tape immediately establishes that this is going to be about Frey's relationship with her family. So, as we move through this, think about that as an underlying theme for some more of these specifics. Now, this section where she's struggling about reading tells us that she lacked an education because she grew up during the war and also seemingly under the Russian communist government. This to me is pretty significant, considering it's the first time we've ever heard of the direct effects the Soviet occupation had on children and civilians as a whole. Next, we see that she starts to find comfort in the Nordic religion during her time of desperation and solitude. This is amplified by the way that these religious teachings are presented to her at the same time as useful survival advice, giving the sense that the religion is quote unquote saving her from the apocalypse and is helping to keep her alive. This is pretty surface level, but here she wants to learn more about their useful traditional survivor skills and lacks the confidence in her own abilities to actually commit to any of these long-term projects. This section is where the title comes from. It's the first point in the story where we learn about her mother, and the quote here tells a lot about her as a character. She seems to have served as a positive role model for Freya, and I would assume they had a good relationship based on the memories of her. She believed in an optimistic adaptability, teachings that definitely drive Freya forward as a survivor in the story. In the future, we'll see Freya turning to the memories of her mother as a coping mechanism for some of the harsh things that she has to endure, and this kind of sets the basis for why that is. It should also be noted that this quote is what's written on the 3D model of the cassette, and there are some drawings on other cassettes that will probably have more meaning than this, but once again, that's more for a future episode. So next she goes on about ice skating, and to me, my interpretation of it was that she longs to be able to enjoy normal childhood activities like ice skating, but is denied such innocence by the dangerous and cruel realities of the apocalypse. Right here where she says she wants to go skating, but she has to be cautious because of the noise it makes while out in the open. So this last bit is probably the most powerful part of this entire cassette. It gives us some of the first major insight as to what it was like for Vigor civilians to live under the communist government of a Soviet-occupied Norway. At least, that's my interpretation of it. It seems that conditions were so bad and women had lost so many of their rights that living in a post-apocalypse is more liberating of a concept than living with the oppression of before. However, an alternative way of looking at these lines is that she's just building off her childlike tendencies. She's just a kid whose rejection to authority is remaining uncontested when she's fending for herself and therefore feels more free. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments below. And I'm really excited for number four because as the story progresses, the writing seems to amp up in meaning. So stay tuned for the next episode. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beach channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.